All right, I got a little experiment going on here, uh, a little contraption uh, to help cool a uh, 10 gallon quarantine tank that I have in my garage. Our uh, Pleco actually uh, made a pair in a larger aquarium. Uh, they, they had uh, babies, so we have a lot of Pleco fry and we're gonna put them in this 10 gallon out here, let them mature. Anyway, uh, the garage here in the second story home, it still gets warm and we're uh, already hitting 80 degrees this time of year. So, of course, we don't need a heater in the aquarium, but we need a chiller. Chillers are very expensive for aquarium use. A lot of saltwater users use uh, chillers. Anyway, this is a Peltier Junction. Uh, the junction is right here. Put 12 volts across the junction. One side of the junction emits heat. The other side um, uh, it cools off, is chilled. I don't know if you can see it, but this heat sink here is uh, frosted over already. Um, of course, you need a way to pull the heat away from the heat sink here. And uh, take a look here on the uh, discharge side, 86 degrees. And then look at the cool side here. There we go. 25, 26, 27. Fahrenheit. It's being driven off of this uh, 12 volt power supply here. It's a 15 amp, more than enough. And I have uh, the fan, the DC fan, and the uh, Peltier junction in parallel running off that 15 amp power supply. Now, what I'll do is this heat sink here, if you come over here, there's just a small aqua clear that I have on this 10 gallon. I'm going to remove this cover and then this is just gonna sit down in there. I might have to modify those handles that pull out the media tray. It's just gonna sit on top and the water will flow across the cool side of the junction, the heat sink. And then the last thing I'll need to do is do a benchmark on how many degrees it will drop and then just keep an eye on the temperature and see if it works for us. Simple, homemade, Peltier Junction Cooler. All right, we're about two hours later and we've almost got a six degree drop in this 10 gallon aquarium. Uh, the AquaClear that I'm using on this 10 gallon aquarium, I think it's the size up from the smallest. I'm not real familiar with them, maybe an AquaClear 50. Um, I'll look into it further and also try to post the uh, Peltier Junction cooler assembly that I bought off of eBay. Uh, it came from China, came with a fan, the heat sinks, and the Peltier Junction. Um, again, it's on a 10 gallon aquarium. Um, for that kind of temperature drop, I think I'm okay if, if uh, I didn't have anything and it reach or it could reach 83, 84 degrees Fahrenheit in this in this garage then this little cooler should do the trick and I don't think it was much more than 15 bucks and that was shipped uh, the only thing that is an expense though is this uh, power supply you need a 12 volt power supply I would think you'd probably want at least at least 5 amps just to be on the safe side capacity so I already had that um, I do some battery hobby stuff as well or Actually, too, what I've done, I've uh, used an old PC power supply here. You can see the banana plugs. I tapped into the 12 volt rail on this PC power supply. I have it powering my Triton battery charger. So you can see it's on lead charge, 3 amp, 24 volt. Uh, my son's scooter runs two sealed lead acid batteries that are 12 volts each. So that's how I charge his scooter. Um, so, anyway, I'm pretty impressed. Good cooling on this.